Have you ever felt inexplicably out of sync with the world around you? As if an unseen force was holding you back from your true spiritual potential? Do sudden energy level fluctuations disrupt your day, leaving you to wonder if there's more to these shifts than just physical tiredness or bursts of adrenaline? These experiences, often bewildering and unsettling, might not be mere coincidences. These are the signs of persecution imprints that many lightworkers face. Lightworkers are beings who are drawn to the earth with a mission to spread light, love and healing. Their purpose transcends the personal. They are here to elevate global consciousness and guide humanity towards a brighter, more spiritually connected future. Yet, this noble path is not without its challenges. Among these, persecution imprints stand out as particularly impactful. These are energetic and emotional scars left by past and present adversities, misunderstandings and societal rejections, often hindering lightworkers from fully embracing and executing their missions. Understanding these persecution imprints and their multifaceted impacts is crucial. They manifest in various forms, internal conflicts, financial blocks, recurring conflicts and even profound spiritual obstacles that can derail a light worker's journey. Yet, with awareness comes power, the power to recognize these signs and implement effective healing strategies. Healing from these imprints is not just about personal liberation, it's about reclaiming your ability to contribute to the global shift in consciousness, unburdened and with renewed vigor. As we embark on this journey together, remember, identifying these signs and embracing the healing process is a pivotal step towards unlocking your true spiritual potential and fulfilling your purpose as a light worker. The symptom of the first sign, internal conflicts and self-doubt, is not merely an emotional disturbance. It is a profound existential crisis that gnaws at the essence of one's spiritual identity. This inner turmoil is characterized by a relentless questioning of one's path, abilities and worthiness to carry out the sacred duties of a light worker. It's as if the soul itself is caught in a tug of war between its divine purpose and the human insecurities that shroud its luminous intentions. This dichotomy creates a chasm, a void filled with echoes of inadequacy and failure that threaten to engulf the light worker's resolve in shadows. Why does this symptom manifest with such intensity? At its core, the emergence of internal conflicts and self-doubt is a direct confrontation with the ego and the lower self, which are steeped in the fears and limitations imposed by societal norms and personal past traumas. The journey of a light worker is inherently countercultural, a path less trodden that defies conventional definitions of success and reality. In undertaking a mission that is vastly different from the collective narrative, light workers inadvertently trigger their deepest fears of rejection and alienation. This is further compounded by the sensitivity of their souls, which, attuned to the vibrations of a higher calling, are more susceptible to the dissonance between their earthly existence and spiritual ambitions. Addressing this sign head-on is not just necessary. It's a pivotal step towards empowerment and alignment with one's true spiritual essence. The antidote to this affliction lies in the potent practice of self-affirmation. By vocally affirming one's worth, capabilities and purpose, Lightworkers can begin to reconstruct the crumbling pillars of their self-belief. Each affirmation acts as a beacon of light, piercing through the fog of doubt, illuminating the path back to self-assurance and conviction. Parallel to the strengthening chants of self-affirmation, the serene practice of meditation and mindfulness serves as a grounding force. It invites a tranquil silence that whispers truths into the chaos of internal disputes. Through meditation, the turbulent waters still, clarity emerges, and with it, a profound sense of peace. Mindfulness, the art of being present, teaches the light worker to navigate the present moment with grace, understanding that each breath is a step towards inner clarity and peace. It is in these moments of quiet introspection that the light worker reconnects with their core, discovering the unshakable confidence and clarity that had been obscured by the storm. This first sign, though daunting, is a call to journey inwards, to confront and heal the fractures within with unwavering courage and compassion. It's a transformative process that not only quells the tempest of self-doubt, but also rekindles the inner flame of purpose and potential, 
guiding the lightworker back to their destined path of enlightenment and service. The second sign that beckons attention on the lightworker's path is the mysterious dance of energy level fluctuations, a phenomenon where one's vitality ebbs and flows like the tide, often without apparent reason. This enigmatic fluctuation sees the light worker riding waves of boundless energy, only to suddenly plunge into the depths of inexplicable exhaustion. The inconsistency is bewildering, leaving one to grapple with days where the sun seems to rise within, casting rays of purpose and clarity, followed by stretches of time when even the simplest tasks feel like mountains too steep to climb. This is not the body's whimsical rebellion against the mind's desires, it is a profound signal from the universe, an indicator of the unseen energetic work being undertaken by the light worker's soul. Why does this symptom manifest with such unpredictability, and what does it signify? The essence of energy fluctuation stems from the light worker's deep, often unconscious engagement with the energy fields around them. As beings attuned to the higher frequencies of existence, light workers absorb and transmute the energies of their environment an invisible labor that depletes or invigorates their spiritual and physical reserves. This constant unseen energetic interaction is exacerbated by the light workers' mission to heal and elevate, drawing them to spaces and souls in need of their light, often without a conscious buffer to shield their own energy reserves. Moreover, these fluctuations serve as a spiritual barometer, measuring the light workers' alignment with their purpose and the universe's rhythms. Moments of heightened energy often coincide with periods of alignment and flow, where the light worker is in sync with their divine mission, channeling universal energy effortlessly. Conversely, episodes of energy depletion may signal a need for introspection and realignment, a call from the soul to retreat, to replenish, and to reflect on the journey thus far. Navigating this sign requires a deliberate and mindful approach to energy management. Grounding and centering practices become vital tools, allowing the light worker to anchor their energy and maintain equilibrium amidst the flux. Techniques such as meditation, spending time in nature, and engaging in grounding physical activities help stabilize the internal energy landscape. Complementing these practices with a focus on nutritional and physical wellness lays the foundation for sustained energy levels. By nourishing the body with the right foods and engaging in regular physical activity, the light worker strengthens their physical vessel, ensuring it is primed to support the demands of their spiritual work. Acknowledging and addressing the challenge of energy level fluctuations is crucial for the light worker. It is a journey of learning to ride the waves of energy with grace, understanding that each crest and trough carries lessons and opportunities for growth. By mastering the art of energy management, the light worker steps into a space of empowered balance, equipped to continue their sacred mission with resilience and vitality. The third sign that emerges on the path of light workers is the daunting presence of financial blocks, an invisible barrier that seems to materialize just as one steps closer to their spiritual and personal milestones. These financial hurdles are not mere coincidences, or simple misfortunes in the ebb and flow of life's financial tides. They are profound energetic manifestations, reflecting deep-seated beliefs about worth, value, and the right to abundance. For many lightworkers, these blocks are the physical embodiment of an underlying struggle with accepting that the spiritual and material worlds can coexist harmoniously, deserving of the universe's boundless provisions. Why do these financial blocks appear with such persistence, casting long shadows over the light worker's journey? At its core, this challenge stems from a misalignment between the light worker's higher purpose and their beliefs about material wealth. Many carry the ancestral or societal imprint that to serve in light means to renounce material abundance, that financial stability and spiritual enlightenment are mutually exclusive realms. This dichotomy creates a rift sending ripples of scarcity through the very fabric of their reality. It's a test, one that calls into question the light worker's ability to embody abundance in all its forms, to dismantle the old paradigms that no longer serve the highest good. Healing from these financial blocks requires a paradigm shift, a reprogramming of the subconscious mind to align with the frequency of abundance. 
Cultivating an abundance mindset through visualization and manifestation techniques becomes a powerful tool in this transformation. It's about visualizing not just the flow of material wealth, but recognizing it as a divine right, an essential component of one's spiritual journey that supports and amplifies their work. This shift in perception paves the way for the light worker to embrace their worthiness of receiving. To understand that abundance is a universal energy, available to all who are open to receiving it. Parallel to this energetic realignment, practical steps towards financial literacy and planning are crucial. Seeking financial advice and education acts as the grounding counterpart to the spiritual practices, ensuring that the light worker's newfound abundance mindset is supported by actionable strategies. This combination of spiritual and practical healing strategies empowers the light worker to dismantle the financial blocks paving the way for a life where material abundance and spiritual growth coalesce, enabling them to further their mission without the hindrance of financial constraints. This third sign, therefore, serves as a vital checkpoint in the lightworker's journey. It challenges them to redefine their relationship with abundance, to heal the deep-seated beliefs that have kept them in a cycle of scarcity. By confronting and transforming these financial blocks, Light workers can open themselves up to the flow of abundance in all aspects of their lives, reinforcing their capacity to serve, heal, and inspire on a global scale. The fourth sign that light workers encounter on their transformative journey is the recurring specter of conflict and rejection. This sign does not lightly graze the surface, it cuts deep, leaving its mark on the very soul of those called to illuminate the darkness. Within the tapestry of personal, professional, and spiritual realms, these conflicts and rejections manifest not as random occurrences, but as patterned obstacles, each one an echo of the last, resonating with a frequency that seems almost designed to test the light worker's resolve. The pain of being misunderstood, sidelined, or outright dismissed by those they seek to help, heal, or connect with is a crucible that purifies, even as it burns. Why, one might wonder, would such trials be part of a light worker's path? The answer lies in the profound role of these experiences in catalyzing growth and fortifying the spirit. Conflict and rejection force the light worker to confront the most vulnerable aspects of their being, to question their purpose and the purity of their intentions. It is through these fires of trial that the dross of ego and the illusion of separateness are burned away revealing the unassailable core of their divine mission. Yet the journey through conflict and rejection is not meant to harden the heart, but to expand it, to open it wide to compassion and understanding, first for oneself and then for all beings. Healing from these wounds requires a two-pronged approach. Emotional release work becomes a vital practice, a way to cleanse the psychic and emotional buildup of these repeated conflicts and rejections Techniques such as guided meditation, journaling, and breathwork serve not just to release these pent-up energies, but to transmute them, turning pain into wisdom and grief into strength. This work is deeply personal, a solitary voyage into the heart's caverns to face and embrace each shadow, each scar, with love and forgiveness. Equally important is the art of assertiveness training. For many light workers, the patterns of conflict and rejection stem from a challenge in asserting their needs and boundaries clearly and respectfully. Learning to stand firm in one's truth, to express needs and set boundaries with clarity and kindness, is a powerful act of self-love. It is also an act of healing, not just for the light worker, but for all involved, as it models a way of being that honors the self and others simultaneously. This balance of assertiveness and compassion becomes a beacon guiding the light worker through the tumult of human interactions with grace and integrity. Thus, the fourth sign with all its trials serves as a critical juncture in the light worker's path. It calls them to deeper self-reflection, to a robust practice of emotional and spiritual hygiene, and to the cultivation of a balanced, assertive presence in the world. Through this, light workers not only heal the wounds of conflict and rejection, but transform them into sources of strength and wisdom fueling their journey forward with renewed purpose and resilience. The fifth sign that lightworkers encounter on their profound journey is a perplexing series of obstacles in their spiritual practices. 
This sign manifests as invisible walls that seem to rise out of nowhere, barriers that block the flow of spiritual energy and progress. Practices that once brought deep connection and insight suddenly feel empty or stagnant, as if the divine source had turned its back, leaving the light worker to grope in the dark for a path forward. This stagnation is not a mere inconvenience. It strikes at the core of the light worker's identity, challenging their connection to the divine and their ability to channel spiritual energies for the greater good. The emergence of these obstacles is a critical juncture, designed to propel the light worker into deeper layers of their spiritual journey. Why do these barriers appear? The answer lies in the dynamic nature of spiritual growth. The universe, in its infinite wisdom, periodically shifts the light worker's path to prevent complacency and to ensure that their growth is not linear but expansive. These challenges serve as a divine nudge, pushing the light worker to question, to seek, and to expand beyond the boundaries of their current practices and beliefs. It's a cosmic invitation to delve deeper into the mystery of their existence and their work. Healing from these spiritual obstacles requires a humble heart and an open mind. Seeking guidance from spiritual mentors or guides becomes a beacon of light in this phase of uncertainty. These seasoned souls, whether in physical or non-physical form, offer perspective, wisdom and techniques that the light worker might not have considered. Their guidance is a reminder that the light worker is not alone on this path and that the feeling of stagnation is but a signpost for growth, a call to expand one's spiritual toolkit. Diverse spiritual exploration becomes the light worker's strategy for breaking through these barriers. It's a process of embracing new practices, philosophies and teachings, some of which may have seemed unrelated or even contradictory to their path before. This exploration is an act of spiritual bravery, a declaration that the light worker is not defined by any single practice or belief but is a dynamic being, capable of growth and transformation. By stepping into unfamiliar territories of spirituality, the light worker discovers new facets of the divine and new depths within themselves. Thus, the fifth sign, with its daunting obstacles, serves a pivotal role in the evolution of the light worker. It dismantles the illusion of stagnation and replaces it with a vision of infinite possibility. Through seeking guidance and embracing diverse spiritual explorations, Light workers turn these apparent barriers into stepping stones, each one leading to greater heights of understanding and connection. This journey through and beyond obstacles renews their commitment to their path, enriching their practice and their contribution to the world's spiritual awakening. The sixth sign that light workers navigate through their spiritual journey is the profound experience of prophetic dreams and visions. This sign transcends the ordinary realm of dreaming, ushering the light worker into a space where the veil between dimensions thins and messages from the divine realm are transmitted directly to their soul. These dreams and visions are imbued with symbolism, rich in imagery that foretells future events, offers guidance, or unveils truths deeply entwined with the light worker's mission. Far from being random figments of the imagination, these nocturnal journeys carry the weight of destiny, marking critical junctures and decisions on the light worker's path. Why do these prophetic dreams and visions occur with such intensity and frequency for light workers? The answer is found in their unique role as conduits between the earthly and the divine. The universe, in its infinite complexity, communicates through the language of symbols and signs, choosing dreams and visions as a direct line to the light worker's consciousness. This communication serves not only to guide, but also to awaken the light worker to deeper layers of their purpose, to align them more closely with their spiritual path, and to prepare them for upcoming challenges and opportunities. Navigating this sign requires attentiveness and a willingness to explore the depths of one's subconscious mind. Dream journaling becomes an essential tool in this process, a method to capture the ethereal messages of the night before they dissipate in the morning light. This practice allows the light worker to reflect upon and decode the symbolic language of their dreams, transforming these ephemeral visions into tangible insights and actions. By recording and revisiting these messages, patterns begin to emerge, 
offering clarity and direction that may have been elusive in waking life. Consulting with a spiritual mentor or guide offers another layer of understanding and integration of these prophetic messages. These seasoned navigators of the spiritual realm can provide perspective and interpretation, helping the light worker to decipher complex symbols and to understand the broader implications of their visions. This collaboration bridges the gap between the mystical and the mundane, grounding the light workers' experiences in a framework that supports their spiritual growth and service. Thus, the sixth sign, with its mysterious dreams and visions, acts as a beacon guiding the light worker through the unseen realms. It challenges them to trust in the intangible, to believe in the messages that come cloaked in the mystery of sleep, and to act upon the guidance received with courage and conviction. This sign deepens the light worker's connection to the divine, enriching their journey with a tapestry of celestial wisdom that informs their path and illuminates the way forward for themselves and for those they are destined to serve. The seventh sign that light workers encounter on their spiritual odyssey is an overwhelming tide of unexplained fears and anxiety. This sign manifests as a shadow that creeps into the light worker's heart and mind, casting doubt over their purpose and path. Unlike ordinary apprehensions tied to specific events or outcomes, these fears are nebulous, lacking a clear source, yet they exert a profound influence on the light worker's psyche. They whisper tales of impending failure of being unworthy or incapable of fulfilling their divine mission. This psychological tempest is not a mere emotional disturbance. It is a crucible designed to refine the light worker's spirit, challenging them to confront and transcend their deepest insecurities. Why do such intense fears and anxieties besiege light workers, especially when their purpose is to be beacons of light and healing? The answer lies in the very nature of their calling. To embark on a journey of spiritual awakening and to commit to a life of service is to also invite the scrutiny of one's soul. Lightworkers, by virtue of their sensitivity and openness to the spiritual realms, become acutely aware of the contrasting energies that permeate our world. This heightened awareness, while a gift, also exposes them to the collective fears and anxieties of humanity, magnifying their personal battles with doubt and fear. Healing from this onslaught of unexplained fears requires a multifaceted approach. Therapeutic support, particularly from professionals who specialize in spiritual psychology, provides a safe haven for light workers to explore and understand the roots of their anxieties. These therapeutic journeys are akin to archaeological digs into the soul, unearthing hidden beliefs and past traumas that may be contributing to the present fears. By bringing these shadows into the light of consciousness, they can be acknowledged, healed, and released. Complementing the deep work of therapy, breathwork, and relaxation techniques offer immediate relief and long-term resilience against the waves of anxiety. Practices such as pranayama, yogic breathing, guided meditation, and progressive muscle relaxation are tools that light workers can wield to calm their nervous system, center their minds, and reconnect with their inner sanctuary of peace. These practices do more than alleviate symptoms. They act as bridges, reconnecting the light worker to their core essence, reminding them of their strength and purpose. Thus, the seventh sign, with its dark cloak of fears and anxieties, serves as a profound teacher. It invites the light worker to embark on a journey of self-discovery and healing, to confront the shadows with courage, and to emerge stronger, more grounded, and more aligned with their spiritual mission. Through therapeutic support and self-care practices, light workers transform their fears into fuel for their journey, reaffirming their commitment to serve as luminaries in a world that yearns for their light. As we journey through the tapestry of signs that light workers encounter, it becomes evident that each challenge, each moment of doubt or fear, is not a stumbling block, but a stepping stone. The path of a light worker is strewn with trials not as tests of endurance, but as invitations to deepen their connection to the divine, to expand their understanding of themselves, and to fortify their resolve to serve humanity with love and light. From the internal conflicts that prompt a journey inward, to the prophetic dreams that offer guidance and foresight, each sign is a crucial chapter in the light worker's evolving story.
The journey of awakening and service is deeply personal, yet it is also intrinsically connected to the collective evolution of consciousness. Lightworkers, in embracing their path, contribute to a larger tapestry of healing and transformation that encompasses all beings. The obstacles they overcome, the fears they transmute, and the growth they achieve are not just for their own benefit, but for the upliftment of humanity. In this spirit of interconnectedness, I encourage you, dear reader, to share your own experiences and insights. Whether you identify as a light worker navigating these signs, or someone who resonates with the journey of spiritual awakening, your story is a valuable thread in the collective fabric. Sharing your journey not only provides solace and inspiration to others who may be walking a similar path, but also amplifies the collective energy of healing and ascension.